My full name is Gurbak Singh Mali. I was born in the village Chugakla in Punjab, India. My hometown was very small population of close to 600 people at that time. And that was a very, very small town and not many services. We have just a, a primary school at that time, up to grade four in my village. So I have my education, my primary education from my village. First of all, I want to tell you that my wife, she came here in 1972. Then she went back to get married. So I got married in 1975. So I came with my wife in 1975, end of April. Uh, this is for the better future for myself and for my family and for my future kids. Actually, she was here, and then somebody that was arranged marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at that time, or still in India, arranged marriage is very common and very popular. So, when you left India, was it difficult to leave your family? In the beginning, yes, that was hard. You know, when you where you grow up, you have all the friends and the family members. That was a hard time in the beginning. But after a couple of years, when I was here and I was in this atmosphere, so I was here, then I was enjoying over here very much. So that was actually very interesting at that time, because in the beginning that was very hard for not for me, anybody, especially the new immigrants, that's far, hard for them to find a job, to find the accommodation, and to mix with the, uh, with the other community. That was hard in the beginning. So later on, you moved to Brampton. Yes. Um, so when you first moved to Brampton, what did you think of the city? Actually, when I moved first to Brampton, there was a new development in the Brampton area and I was living long enough in the Malton area and the Brampton was part of my riding, when I was, which riding I am representing now, that which riding I am representing since 1993. That was part of my riding and I thought that is a good idea to move to the new development and have, some, have a bigger house and more accommodation. So I liked the Brampton very much at that time too, because since I am representing this community in 1993, the Brampton have people from different cultures, different traditions, and different religion. They work together under a one roof. That's why I am very proud of Brampton, and especially they have a every year the Karabram. You know the people from different cultures. They have their uh, festivities during the Karabram. Yes, I am a Sikh, and I have the tradition, and we have uh, the Sikh birthday every year. We celebrate the Sabasaki in April, so that's why I celebrate the Sabasaki celebration every year on the Parliament Hill since 1994, when I was first elected in 1993 in October, and that is first celebration was 1994 on the Parliament Hill, and I invite all the most of the ministers at that time and the Prime Minister too. So there's a tradition since 1994 that all the time the Prime Minister comes to the Vsaki celebration. Previous Prime Minister, Right Honorable John Cretchen, he was there every year, and now the present Prime Minister, Right Honorable Paul Martin, he also attended the Vsaki celebration last year on the Parliament Hill. Um, are there any other family tradi traditions that your family enjoys? 
this is why I am I believe in my religion and I follow the procedure and I follow the practice I practice my religion as a Sikh So Mr. Mali, you are the Liberal MP for the Bramalee, Gore, Malton, Springdale area. Could you please tell us you know, why you decided to enter politics? Actually, when I was uh, in my village back home, my mother used to help uh, the politician, the village politician at home, at, uh, in the village. So that's why I got this. Um, this is from my blood, actually. So I used to go with my mother to help those people. And when I was in the college and the university, the same thing I was doing, I was helping the politician during my university time and during my college time to elect them. And what I, my aim was, my vision was to be accessible, approachable, and to help the people. So that's what I'm doing since uh, I got elected uh, in 1993, first time, then 1997, then 2000 and 2004. I'm accessible, I'm approachable. Anybody who want to see me, I'm here every Friday. I'm meeting the people in my constituency, sometime with appointment and sometime without appointment. And I try to help them through different channels. Like I raise their concern with the cabinet, within the cabinet, I raise their concern with the Prime Minister. I raise their concern with the different departments. That's what I'm doing. And the, even the people, sometimes they invite me at different events, the social events, the cultural events, and other events. I usually attend when I'm here. I attend all the events. So mostly, sometimes, more than 500 a year. I attend so many events a year. Because I want to be accessible. I want to be approachable. That was my aim. That's, that was my commitment to the people. That's what I'm doing since 1993. Um, could you first uh, tell us what it was like to sit in the House of Commons on your very first day? Oh, that was a very uh, proud history. Mm -hmm. Not for me only, for the whole South Asian community and the particularly the Sikh community because I was the first turban Sikh ever elected to the House of Common uh, and the history of the world outside India. Um, so do you have any advice for um, other members of a minority community that want to get into politics? Yes, I think uh, especially to the young generation, if they work hard, they can do some volunteer work and they can have their goals done if they do some volunteer work. When you do some volunteer work, you at the end, you feel proud of that, that you did something for somebody. So there are so many do ways to do volunteer work. You can do the volunteer work with your neighbor, within the hospital, within the other organization. There are so many ways, and you feel proud of that. Uh, this picture was taken on April 19, 1999, on the 300th birthday of the Sikh nation, because the post office released the, the religious stamp, Kanda Sahib stamp, on that day, on the 300th birthday of the Sikh nation. Well, along with that is the, the uh, Andre Vullet, the chairman for the post office, and uh, previous Prime Minister, Right Honorable pa, uh, John Christian. How did that make you feel that the uh, post office commemorated this anniversary? Well, that was, uh, I think, very proud time for the Sikh community and, and, and the history of Canada. Because that was the first time something historical happened at that time. That's why we had a lot of people from different parts of the country was there at the cere uh, celebration at the um, Museum of Civilization in Hull. Do you represent Brampton um, as part of the Liberal Party, but you also do a lot of volunteer work within Brampton. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your activities? Well, as I mentioned earlier, 
I am very accessible, approachable, and committed to the community. When the different communities they invite me at different uh, events, I usually attend those events and I try to help them um, through different channels. So this is the prime example. When I go there, they honor me all the time. Uh, definitely, for example, we have a, as I mentioned earlier, Canada Day celebration and we have a Remembrance Day celebration. This is the prime example of our Remembrance Day celebration when the people from different cultures, uh, different um, communities, they come together on Remembrance Day celebration every year. So we remember our people who sacrificed their lives for us. That's why, why we are enjoying the freedom of this, uh, for that. Could you please tell us about one of your favorite places in Brampton? My favorite place in Brampton is Chenguzi Park. We have a Canada Day celebration every year at the Chenguzi Park. I think more than seven, between 70 to 80,000 people come to that place to celebrate Canada Day with the children, seniors, and uh, the people from all of life, and all the people from the municipal, provincial, and the federal government participate in that celebration. That's what I'm joining that, and I'm doing this since 1994. We, I usually go every year on Canada Day celebration, and we have a table over there. We distribute to the children the balloons and different type of literature, so the people should know about the importance of Canada Day and celebrate the Canada Day with great uh, enthusiasm, enthusiasm and uh, with great proud that we are a Canadian. We are a Canadian. That's why I'm proud that I attend all the ceremonies uh, for Canada Day celebration in Chinguzi Park in Brampton. Um, could you tell us a little bit about that picture? Uh, that's on the Canada Day celebration uh, uh, that was with the mayor and all the other politician was there during the Canada Day celebration. The mayor of Brampton and myself and other politicians usually join every year.